All right, we're gonna correct our simple interest quiz. So this first one here is saying, how much interest is earned on $300 at 6% for six years? So we're gonna say I equals P R T. All right, how much interest is earned on $300? There's my P, my R is gonna be 0 0.06. Remember we changed that percent to a decimal. And then my time is six years. So we're straight plugging in these values. This I stands for interest. So we'll say 300 times 0 0.06 times six. And we will get one hundred and eight so that's your answer there yours might be in a different order but that's okay you can kind of pull yours up and follow along if you put money into a savings account that earns eighty four dollars over seven years at a rate of three percent how much money did you put into the account all right i equals p r t <coughs> p r t so they're actually asking you for the P. How much did you put into this account? And it's telling you it earns $84 in interest, a seven year period at 3% of our rate. So we're gonna plug these values in and then we're gonna end solve for P. So 84 equals P times 0.03 times seven. And we're getting P is equal to $400. Moving on to number three. Number three says, how much interest is earned on a principal of 200, a rate of 9% for eight years? P, whoopsie, hi equals P R T. <clears throat> P is 200, my rate is 0.09. And I'm going to times this by 8. And we are looking for the interest. 200 times 0 0.09 times 8 gives me 144. So there's my interest. All right, moving on to number 4. Number 4 says... What is the interest rate if the principal of 700 earns 196 in seven years? They're asking me for my rate. So something that really helps me is to list these over here so I can just go plug them in. So my principal was 700. It earns $196 in interest for seven years and we're looking for the rate. So 196 equals 700 times the rate times 7. And we're going to end solve for that. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Menu 3, 1. And we'll plug in 196 equals 700 times the rate times 7. And you'll see that it gives you in a decimal form and you have to put it in as a percent. I think my calculator will do that. I can't really remember how to do that. I don't know. But what I could do, right, is I could put these in my calculator, right, just telling you how you can match it for key in your percent sign and see how that matches. So that's how I'll know 4% is my answer. All right, number five. What will the final balance be? So they're not asking about interest. All right, so $700 principal <coughs> invested at 3% for eight 
for three years. Remember, we're solving for I, right? So we'll say 700 times 0 0.03 times 3. And I'm getting an interest of $63. You might have gone and picked that, but that's not what it's asking for. The final balance means I have to go say 700 plus 63, and that would be 760. Three. You've got to add that principal back on. The interest plus the principal equals the final balance.